Welcome to this aircraft engineered your aircraft technical go to page and uh, today we are talking about aircraft brakes. This is an Airbus A320 brake. As you can see, the brake is, is mainly made out of three parts. That is the heat pack. As you can see, those uh, carbon uh, carbon discs. Then there's the actuation system, and uh, which is mainly hydraulic. And then we've got the brake temperature uh, monitoring or the brake temperature indication system. Hydraulic actuated brakes are, are quite efficient. That's why, as you can see, compared to other systems like propulsion or avionics, the brake aircraft braking systems has largely remained stagnant in terms of development so as you can see this is our brake uh, we'll just uh, zoom in a bit so as you can see this is a hydraulic coupling so this is where the uh, pressurized hydraulic fluid comes in to actuate the hydraulic pistons in the, in the brake assembly the actuators then push the stators and the rotors together thereby stopping the wheel a lot of development ha has happened on the disc part in terms of development from steel to carbon brakes but in terms of the actuation it's really largely remained hydraulic from the Embraer all the way up to the Airbus A380. Now for the 787, let's turn it up a notch. The 787 has got an electrical braking system, so which is quite different from the conventional hydraulic systems. As you can see, we've got these big power cables that supply power to the electrical brake. And for the actuators like this, we do we have electrical cables instead of uh, hydraulic supply line. So the key components are the electrical brake actuators, which apply pressure on the heat pack. And then this is an electrical brake actuator motor. If you look at it on the brake, it just just underneath the electrical brake actuator. This is electrical. Yeah, that's it. That's electrical brake actuator motor on the brake. And this unit right here is one that drives the electrical brake actuator. It's a motor that receives power from the electrical brake actuator controller. So after it gets the power from the brake actuator controller, it begins to spin and when it spins, it turns the gear mechanism which then extends or retracts the electrical brake actuator. That's operation in a nutshell. So for this uh, electrical brake unit, you can see you've got this big power uh, electrical cables as opposed to these hydraulic pipes and lines. So one major advantage of this brake uh, is that there are no hydraulic leaks. And because that's one major issue when it comes to hydraulic actuated brakes, uh, these are hydraulic leaks that leak on hot brakes and these in, uh, increase the risks of fire because hydraulic fluid is flammable and the, the area in which it operates, if there are any leaks, there are chances of fires as well. But then when it comes to electrical brakes, there are no hydraulic leaks. And also they uh, there are four independent electrical brake actuator so if one is inoperative the aircraft can be dispatched with one inoperative so then there's the obvious advantage of the the, the weight reduction that comes from eliminating hydraulic pipes and adding el electrical cables and so forth so basically that's the advantage and the 787 is the only commercial aircraft that has this technology this is an embraer brake as you can see still all all conventional hydraulic actuated brake we come to this one this is a, a boeing 737 ng as you can see, this is, uh, and these have steel brakes uh, as opposed to, um, I, I know some 737s have got um, carbon brakes, but then some do have steel brakes, but however, the actuation is still hydraulic. So this is the 737 wheel and area. We do have a lot of brake system components here, like the brake accumulators, which you do not have on the 787. So yes, so it does aid some weight reduction. Now this is a 737 classic brake. Yeah, a bit different from the 737NG, but still all hydraulic actuated. And, and as you can see, the brake is smaller than the one for the 737NG. This is a big old Boeing 777. Uh, this just for you get an appreciation of how the brake systems are. This also all hydraulic actuated. A bit different from the other systems, I'll explain later. But still all hydraulic. Now we come to the big brother. This is, seven, no, this is Boeing 747-8. As a new aircraft, but still also the brakes are all hydraulic actuated. You can see the hydraulic lines. Yes, so you also do appreciate that the 747 is a big aircraft and uh, I'm not quite sure if the electrical brakes are quite efficient for that size of an aircraft. This is also an electrical brake on a 787-8, the smaller uh, version of the 787. It's an electric, it's an electrical brake, still the same thing, still the same uh, concept. And uh, this is the Airbus A350-1000. Uh, as you can see, it's also got like this uh, hydraulic uh, brake actuation uh, as well. This is an Airbus A380. Uh, this is the, uh, what you call this, uh, wing uh, gear. The one which with uh, four brakes. So you can also see it's uh, also hydraulic actuated. It's a big aircraft and uh, 
it also requires big brakes and the brakes are also hydraulic actuated you can see the um, the hydraulic uh, lines also as you also go to the 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 body gear you can also see the the hydraulic brakes as well so the 380 arrangement on the body gear is only got four brakes and then the rear axle has no brakes uh yes you can see as you can see from here i'll explain that one that's another we'll save that for another video yeah but this is an airbus a380 braking system so this generally i just showed you this uh, brake just for you to get an appreciation of how the whole system is but uh generally the 787 is an impressive aircraft and since on the airbus a380 we just uh, let's just admire the big uh, big jet the big jumbo so this is the airbus a380 landing gear and that is where it fits inside the the, the fuselage that's a landing gear compartment quite a big aircraft quite a big compartment i'll be doing more videos on the airbus a380 stay tuned and i'll be going in depth in the systems that run this big jumbo jet but anyway thank you so much for supporting the channel i will be bringing you more videos on aviation stuff so like and follow for more ciao